So today I'm on the Sota Summit in Wales and it's blowing an absolute gale which is uh, probably just as well because today I want to activate with a kite antenna. Now I've done this before with an end-fed half wave cut for 20 metres so that was a basically a 10 metre length of wire close enough. I've now got a wire set up here cut as a half wave for 40 metres so 20 metres of wire attached to a kite. I've got a slightly uh, bigger kite but it folds up smaller because it hasn't got the uh, rigid struts inside so it's actually a smaller lighter kite to carry so uh, I'm going to try activating the Soto Summit on the kite today so I'll, I'll quickly show you the setup um, I'm not going to go too much in depth with theory there's a good a really good video on um, Tim's channel Tim G5TM I'll put a link uh, to his channel he um, he did a really good video where he went into all the uh, modeling and computer simulation on it and uh, it was really interesting so I'll, I'll put a link to that but uh, I came up the summit today got a little bit wet and uh, there were two windmills that were spinning like good ones so uh, we're in for a windy day which should be good for the kite okay so there's the uh, kite up there and uh, well, the wire comes down here and uh, the uh, that string that white string is a backup um you've seen this setup before it's basically the same as the previous setup i used um because of the larger kite and the it puts a bit more tension on the wire i've used a uh, different wire this is um uh, dx50 from uh, callum dx commander here in the uk makes really good kite um antenna wire uh, allegedly it takes up to 130 kilos before it breaks uh, manufacturers manufacturers of the kite say the kite can pull up to 100 kilos so we should be okay <laughs> but I've put uh, this kite string on as a backup as well uh, 49 to 1 and um, it's anchored down on the ground here I've got two stakes again belt and braces because it's quite blowy so this one is uh, connected to the wire and this uh, second one is connected to the string as my backup so I've got two chances if uh, if something breaks and then I've got uh, Ultra Flex 7 from Messi and Poloni goes over to my bag over there and I'm running the Icom 705 today so uh, I have a feeling this is going to work quite well because it it worked very well on 20 meters with the uh, infrared halfway for 20 so i think this is going to work really well on 40 and and 20 as well uh, papa alpha zero bravo i think that was five nine roger the five seven thank you very much my friend seven three uh, qrz uh, Fox 6, was that India, Papa Romeo? Yes, my call is Fox 6, India, Papa Romeo. Italy, Portugal, Radio. You are 5, 5, 55. Seven Fox Trot Hotel, Victor. Uh, Fox, uh, sorry, Golf 7, Fox Hotel, Victor, 5, 9. Okay, James, thank you for the 5-9. You're 5-5 five, five here on the south coast, 15 miles north of Brighton, and the name is Trev, QSL. Yeah, roger, roger, Trev. So 40 metres seems to be in uh, quite good shape today, and it probably helps the fact that I've got a uh, N-fed halfway vertical for 40 metres, over. Yeah, QSL, I'm also, I'm, I'm listening on a long wire, and I'm transmitting on a, a vertical, but it's only short, it's short to this band, it's nearly a quarter wave, but not quite. Um, the weather's clear at last, and uh, the wind has died down, so I hope the WX is good with you. Thank you for the activation. Yeah, we've got a little bit of a breeze here, hoping the wind doesn't die down too much, because I need it to keep the kite in the air, hi hi. But, uh, yeah, having, uh, having quite a pleasant uh, morning here. It was a bit wet on the climb up, but it uh, seems to have dried out now. Thank you very much for the contact, Trev73. Uh, you're also uh, 5 and 9. Name is Nick in the QTH of Scarborough. Over. Okay, Nick, rog roger the 5 9 in uh, Scarborough, and uh, like I say, also 5 9 on the uh, Kite antenna today here on uh, 
here on Coity Mountain, over. Yeah, fine, that's good. QSL, thank you very much for the uh, QSO and uh, good luck with the activation. 73. Thank you very much, 73 uh, QRZ. Golf Whiskey Zero, Romeo Quebec, Charlie. Uh, Golf Whiskey Zero, uh, Romeo uh, Quebec, Charlie, I think that was, as I uh, turned the page over on the log. 5-9. Uh, uh, roger, roger, yes, thank you for the 5-9. You are also 5-9 in Cardiff, so we're not all that far away. Name here is Robert. Uh, Mike Whiskey Zero, uh, Golf Quebec, Charlie, still portable. Golf Whiskey Zero, Romeo Quebec, Charlie. Okay, Robert, yeah, uh, Cardiff, with, like you say, not that far away, might even, not sure, might even be ground wave, because I'm uh, basically running an Enfield half wave in a vertical uh, so kite antenna, so uh, might be uh, might be ground wave, I'm not sure, uh, but uh, thank you for the contact there, and uh, good to get you in the log, over. Roger, Roger, yes, thank you for the contact, and all the very best for your activation there. Uh, go on, let's give you a room here for a bit, Charlie, clear. Thank you, Ozzy. Yeah. Uh, Sierra 57, India, question mark again. Uh, Sierra 57, India, Lima, Foxtrot, uh, good morning, you're coming, 5 by 7, 5 by 7. Delta Lima 8, uh, ending Foxtrot again. Delta Lima 8, Mike Foxtrot, Mike America X-ray, Oscar Mexico 1 Alpha X-ray. Delta Lima 8, Mike Foxtrot. Roger, Delta Lima 8, Mike Foxtrot, uh, 5959, over. Thank you also 59 in Berlin, the 10 watts, 73. Thank you very much, 73. Uh, Oscar Mike 1, uh, Mike X-ray I think it is, 59. Oscar Mike 1, America X-ray, America X-ray, 5959. Roger, my apologies, Oscar Mike 1, America X-ray and uh, copy the 59. Thank you for the contact, 73. Thank you very much, thank you. Sierra Victor 3, Sierra Victor 3, India Echo Gold, Sierra Victor 3, India Echo Gold. Okay. Summit. Uh, summit, Summit, go. Oscar Echo 5, Radio Echo Oscar Portable. Oscar Echo 5, Radio Echo Oscar Portable. Uh, good uh, good morning to you. I normally work you as a chaser, so good to get the Summit to Summit in. You're uh, 5 and 5 with me, 5-5, five, five, over. Roger, Roger, the 5 and 5, you're also 5 and 5, also 50 times. And Oscar Echo, Oscar Echo, 344. I repeat, Oscar Echo, Oscar Echo, 344. Good to get you on the log at the summit to summit, Roger. Okay, Oscar Echo, was that Oscar X ray? Oscar X ray, 344, 344, Roger. Uh, negative. Uh, the summit is Oscar Echo, stroke. Oscar, Oscar, 344. Oscar, Oscar, three, four, four, Roger. Roger, Roger, apologies, I got you that time. Oscar, Echo, um, Oscar, Oscar, three, four, four, Roger. Roger, 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 you're five, 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 Roger, go ahead. Roger, also five, five, also five, five, on to Golf Whiskey, Sierra Whiskey, zero, one, two. Golf Whiskey, Sierra Whiskey, zero, one, two, Roger. Roger, Roger. Thanks for the summit, Mr. Summit. And I can hear the wind blowing in the microphone, so I have a safety stand and uh, don't get the call. 73. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much, my friend. A uh, little bit windy up here, but that's a good thing because I've got a kite antenna. Using a kite antenna, so uh, the wind is a good thing. 73. Okay, good, good contact. Uh, thanks for thanks for all that. Uh, please Call sign, uh, Ukraine Whiskey, United Whiskey, uh, number 8, Sugar Mexico, Stroke Portable. Uh, your signal report is 5757. My reference number is United Tango, Stroke Charlie Alpha 286. Uniform Tango, Stroke Charlie Alpha 286. And the call sign is United Whiskey 8, Sierra Mexico, Stroke Portable. Okay, okay correct. So I've got United Whiskey 8. Sierra Mexico Portable on uh, Summit Uniform Tango Charlie Alpha 286. My reference is Golf Whiskey, Sierra Whiskey 012 QSL. 
Right, so what you didn't see in the video footage during the activation, because it happened just after I'd finished the activation, it absolutely chucked it down and I got a drenching, which has it's become a bit of a tradition in my uh, SOTA videos. So um, they didn't actually forecast showers, but I guess that's what you get in the mountains. Although looking outside now, it's, it's sunny, so you wouldn't know. So it's, it's absolutely lovely, but... Anyway, my uh, camera that I'm using here, I had to uh, pack away fairly quickly. It, it wouldn't have survived being out in the rain, so didn't film much up there. But in terms of the antenna and how successful it was, like I said, the um, NFED halfway for 20 meters, which I used last time, worked really well. So I had high hopes for this. So basically what we got is an NFED halfway vertical or perhaps more of a sloper for 40 meters also resonant on 20 meters uh, we'll do other probably do other bands uh, 10 meters 15 meters you should also get but uh, I didn't try it on those bands uh, looking through my logbook here got 29 contacts on 40 meters um, someone I believe someone spotted me for work to Britain as well so I had a few uh, WAB contacts which uh, probably helped a bit and uh, when I went on to 20 meters, strangely enough, I also got 29 contacts on 20 meters. So 29 contacts on e each band, um, 58 contacts. I'd say that's quite a success. And there were, uh, there were probably about four or five uh, summit summits in there as well. So um, yeah, for for SOTA, as, as a lightweight, antenna as well okay the um kite is a bit a little bit bulky but it doesn't weigh a lot it's actually quite a practical proposition on on summits like this where you've got loads of space and uh, no one else around i'm not sure i'd want to try it on the busier summits though <laughs>